Hello friends and welcome to another video of Tutorials Point with me Richa. Today under the Corporate Management module we will talk about Corporate Social Responsibility which is also known as CSR. Now Corporate Social Responsibility is something which has been started by many organizations few years back and it is to have a simple idea that we are trying to do as much as we can as a Corporate Social Responsibility what is your organization doing for your bit for the society. I'm very excited to teach you on this module and let us look at what is there on the agenda today. Well, we will talk about the definition of CSR, importance to be socially responsible, five reasons why CSR happens, developmental goals for the organization for CSR, four dimensions of CSR, benefits of CSR and business impact of CSR. We will also look at corporate awards for commitment to CSR which has been given out globally. So let's understand what is CSR. Well to give you a definition, corporate social responsibility is a business approach that contributes to sustainable development by delivering economic, social and environmental benefits for all the stakeholders. CSR is a management concept which has been started so that the organization or corporate can look at economic, social as well as environmental challenges which are being faced by people so that their interaction becomes better with the stakeholders. So what is the importance of being socially responsible? Well, a simple fact that social responsibility is important to business because it demonstrates to both the consumers and to the media that the company takes an interest in the wider social issues that have no direct impact on the profit margins. Not always you need to work for profits, right? At times you need to do your bit for the society so that you have a feeling of doing social service for people without really expecting anything back in return. So CSR is a beautiful initiative being taken by many many corporates and it's a salute to those corporates for bringing this into their working culture. So let's understand what are the reasons for CSR, why did it come about? Well, employees demand the company to be socially responsible. Some of the employees have come up to the seniors and managers saying that they need to do their bit for the society as well as the culture. Consumers expect better business practices. It creates a competitive immunity. Well, by competitive immunity, what I'm really saying is that sometimes you need to become immune to the competition all around you. You need to not concentrate on what your competitors are doing well and be in competition with them. Rather, it's always nice to take a back seat once in a while and do your bit without expecting any kind of you know, returns personally as well as professionally. Capitalism is evolving and that's again a reason why CSR is important and it is a moral imperative. You feel good when you do good for other people, right? So morally, ethically, integrity wise, you feel wholesome and good. Now let's look at the developmental goals for CSR. So basically what we're saying that if you know, there are different companies and corporates are looking at different reasons or goals, developmental goals, why CSR needs to be introduced. They want to eradicate poverty, so no poverty all across India and people are above, you know, living above the poverty line. Zero hunger, so nobody should go hungry in this entire country, there should be food for everyone. Good health and well-being, well if you're physically fit, you're mentally fit, so hence it's important to have a good health in yourself. Fourth is quality education. Everyone in our country should be, you know, having good quality education and companies are really going out of their way to educate people who cannot really afford to be educated. They don't have the kind of means and the kind of money to really go out and educate themselves. Fifth is gender equality. So a lot of companies are actually fighting for making sure that women get as much of equality as men in their, uh, you know, wherever they are. So gender equality is something that they really want to focus on. Clean water and sanitization, our country and our corporates are doing as much as they can to make sure that there are proper hygiene conditions and sanitization is something that they are really looking at upgrading. 
Affordable and clean energy, something that's uh, not there in uh, the villages uh, in our country. Of course, it's there in the urban lifestyle, but people in villages are really struggling for power, electricity and the basics, etc. Eighth is decent work and economic growth. Ninth is industry, innovation and infrastructure. So wherever it's, wherever it's possible and feasible, we will be having good infrastructure industries so that people also get employment. Tenth is reduced inequalities. Eleventh is sustainable cities and communication. So we are doing our bit to make smart cities in our country and trying to make sure that you know, countries or cities which have the level of going upgrading themselves are being helped out by the corporates. Twelfth is responsible consumption as well as production. Climate action. So we are trying to do our bit to make sure that there is greenery all around and not much of wastage of paper. We are trying to go green and most of the corporates have taken this responsibility of going green. Fourteenth is below life below the water. So even uh, below the water, all the animals and fishes and uh, all of the flora and fauna, fauna etc needs to be conserved and needs not to be uh, removed. So life below the water also needs to have a good life. Life on land also needs to be uh, sh making sure that it's really uh, be people really like living uh, wholesomely above on the land as well. Sixteen, this peace, justice and strong institutions. So people should get uh, free justice and people should really be able to do things in a peaceful manner without having to undergo any kind of mental trauma or stress. So these were the developmental goals of CSR which most of the corporates in India have taken uh, a responsibility for which is a great thing to do now friends let's look at four dimensions of csr so at a, if we look at a pyramid we have four dimensions that every corporate is taking uh, into consideration you have economical you have legal ethical as well as discretionary responsibilities so at the very bottom you have economic responsibility so everybody wants to be profitable but at the same time doing their bit for the society and yet becoming profitable. Legal responsibilities, people want everyone in the country to obey the laws because only if you obey the laws you are a country which has really tried to match to our foreign counterparts wherein they really obey the laws so well nobody breaks laws over there so we are trying to make sure that legally our country is obeying all the laws and all the citizens are obeying the laws ethical responsibility so do things which are right morally you should be having a, a great sense of belief that whatever you do do it the right way and not the wrong way and discretionary which is contribute to the entire community and quality of life. So friends, these were the four dimensions of CSR. Now let's take a look at what are the benefits of CSR. Now most of the corporates have taken the initiative to be having corporate social responsibility in their corporates and organizations. What are some of the benefits of doing so? You have winning new businesses because a lot of people try to win, uh, you know, get more businesses through them. Enhanced relationship with your stakeholders, attracting, retaining and maintaining a happy workforce because when people do good, they feel good. Media interest and good repetition in the market is something that definitely everyone wants. Access to funding opportunities, a lot of people outside are ready to fund your organization if you are doing your bit for the society. Uh, you also have enhancing your influence in the industry. Differentiating yourself from your competitor, not everybody is doing CSR, so if your company or corporate is doing CSR, it gives you an edge above your competitors. Saving money on energy and operating cost and increase in customer retention. Your customers are likely to retain with you if you are doing something for them without expecting anything back. So these are in short the benefits of CSR. Now what is the business impact of CSR? While you are doing your bit for the society, how does it affect your organization? So positive shareholder value, you get a good shareholder value. You have definitely increased revenue, which everyone wants. Operationally, you are efficient. You, you're, you're working operationally very well. Innovation, you're able to think out of the box and creative thinking, which is the need of the hour. Customers are attracted to you. Access to equity capital 
and license to operate. These are certain business impacts of CSR. Now there are, uh, you know, the government of India and the overall globe has come up with certain awards for companies who are following CSR and let's take a look at what these awards are globally. You have the Corporate Citizenship Award, National Sustainable Award, Corporate Environmental Protection Award, Golden Peacock Award for CSR, Fortune Admired Award and Alcan Prize for Sustainability. If your corporate or organization is following CSR, you are liable to get any of these awards and be nominated for these awards, which is again a very good feeling of recognition for your corporate. So friends, this was our short module on Corporate Social Responsibility or CSR. We do hope you have enjoyed listening to this as much as we have enjoyed teaching this to you. Please thank you for watching us and keep liking our videos, keep putting in your comments. Thank you very much.